Question 22.14. Questioner, are all of these entities still with us in this cycle? Answer, I am Ra. The entities repeating the third density major cycle have, in some few cases, been able to leave. These entities have chosen to join their brothers and sisters, as you would call these entities. Question 22.15. Questioner, are any of these entities names that we would know from our historical past? Answer, I am Ra. The one known as Sound Vibration Complex, Saint Augustine, is of such a nature. The one known as Saint Teresa of such a nature. The one known as Saint Francis of Assisi of such nature. These entities, being of monastic background, as you would call it, found incarnation in the same type of ambience appropriate for further learning. Question 22.16 Questioner, as the cycle terminated 25,000 years ago, what was the reaction of the Confederation to the lack of harvest? Answer, I am Ra. We became concerned. Question 22.17. Questioner, was any action taken immediately, or did you wait for a call? Answer, I am Ra. The Council of Saturn acted only in allowing the entry into third density of other mind, body, spirit complexes of third density, not wanderers, but those who sought further third density experience. This was done randomly so that free will would not be violated for there was not yet a call. Question 22.18 Questioner, was the next action taken by the Confederation when a call occurred? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. Question 22.19 Questioner, who or what group produced this call, and what action was taken by the Confederation? Answer, I am Ra. The calling was that of Atlanteans. This calling was for what you would call understanding with the distortion towards helping other selves. The action taken as that which you take part in at this time, the impression of information through channels, as you would call them. Question 22.20 Questioner, was this first calling then at a time before Atlantis became technologically advanced? Answer, I am Ra. This is basically correct. Question 22.21 Questioner, then did the technological advancement of Atlantis come because of this call? I am assuming that the call was answered to bring them the law of one and the law of love as a distortion of the law of one, but did they also then get technological information that caused them to grow into such a highly advanced technological society? Answer, I am Ra. Not at first. At about the same time as we first appeared in the skies over Egypt and continuing thereafter, other entities of the Confederation appeared unto Atlanteans who had reached a level of philosophical understanding, shall we misuse this word, which was consonant with communication, to encourage and inspire studies in the mystery of unity. However, requests being made for healing and other understanding, Information was passed having to do with crystals and the building of pyramids as well as temples, as you would call them, which were associated with training. Qu question 22.22. Questioner, was this training the same sort of initiatory training that was done with Egyptians? Answer, I am Ra. This training was different in that the social complex was more, shall we say, sophisticated and less contradictory and barbarous in its ways of thinking. Therefore the temples were temples of learning rather than the attempt being made to totally separate and put upon a pedestal the healers. Question 22.23. Questioner, then were the what we call priests trained in these temples? Answer, I am Ra. You would not call them priests in the sense of celibacy, of obedience, and of poverty. They were priests in the sense of those devoted to learning. The difficulties became apparent as those trained in this learning began to attempt to use crystal powers for those things other than healing, as they were involved not only with learning but became involved with what you would call the governmental structure. Question 22.24 Questioner, was all of their information given to them in the same way that we are getting our information now, through an instrument such as this instrument? Answer, I am Ra. There were visitations from time to time but none of importance in the, shall we say, historical passage of events in your space-time continuum. Question 22.25 Questioner, was it necessary for them to have an unified social complex for these visitations to occur? What conditions were necessary for these visitations to occur? Answer, I am Ra. 
The conditions were two, the calling of a group of people whose square overcame the integrated resistance of those unwilling to search or learn, the second requirement, the relative naivety of those members of the Confederation who felt that direct transfer of information would necessarily be as helpful for Atlanteans as it had been for the Confederation entity. Question 22.26 Questioner, I see then. What you are saying is that these naive Confederation entities have had the same thing happen to them in the past so they were doing the same thing for the Atlantean entities. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. We remind you that we are one of the naive members of that Confederation and are still attempting to recoup the damage for which we feel responsibility. It is our duty as well as honor to continue with your peoples, therefore, until all traces of the distortions of our teach learnings have been embraced by their opposite distortions, and balance achieved. Question 22.27 Questioner, I see. Then I will state the picture I have of Atlantis and you tell me if I am correct. We have a condition where a large enough percentage of the people of Atlantis had started at least going in the direction of the law of one and living the law of one for their call to be heard by the Confederation. This call was heard because, using the law of squares, it overrode the opposition of the Atlantean entities who were not calling. The Confederation then used channels such as we use now in communication, and also made contact directly but this turned out to be a mistake because it was perverted by the entities of Atlantis. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct with one exception. There is only one law. That is the law of one. Other so-called laws are distortions of this law, some of them primal and most important for progress to be understood. However, it is well that each so-called law, which we also call, way, be understood as a distortion rather than a law. There is no multiplicity to the law of one. This will be the final question in length of this working. Please ask it now. Question 22.28 Questioner, can you give me the average lifespan of the Atlantean population? Answer, I am Ra. The average lifespan, as we have said, is misleading. The Atlanteans were, in the early part of their cultural experience, used to lifespans from 70 to 140 years, this being, of course, approximate. Due to increasing desire for power, the lifetime decreased rapidly in the later stages of the civilization and, thus, the healing and rejuvenating information was requested. Do you have any brief queries before we close? Question 22.29 Questioner, is there anything that we can do to make the instrument more comfortable? Is there anything that we can do for her? Answer, I am Ra. The instrument is well. It is somewhat less easy to maintain clear contact during a time when some or one of the entities in the circle of working is or are not fully conscious. We request that entities in the circle be aware that their energy is helpful for increasing the vitality of this contact. We thank you for being conscientious in the asking. I am Ra. It is a great joy to leave you in the love and the light of the one infinite creator. Go forth, therefore, rejoicing in the power and the peace of the one creator. Adonai.